Hello everyone. I'm here today with a new process video. As you can see, I'm working on a six by 12 pocket page. This is for my Vegas 2021 album. And pretty obvious here, these are transportation photos getting ready to go. Here I'm on the train going to the airport and then on the plane, my friend is here with me. And I actually have two other photos here, my boarding pass, and then a night shot, which is horrible. You know, we were going pretty fast up in the plane. Night shot, all that stuff. And I was trying to shoot over the shoulder because I was on the aisle. So it's not the best photo, but I love that you can see how lit up it is and that it was a night flight. So I have that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them in here and do a flip exactly as this appears right now. I reserve the right to move things around and change my mind. But I think I would like two pocket cards here or a pocket card with some journaling, not quite sure. Also thing, something to note here is that this top area is a four by six pocket, but I don't really want to have a four by six card there and I don't have a horizontal photo that works. So I think I'm just gonna put these together side by side to fill that pocket. All right, so I have pulled out a bunch of stuff that I had gathered in my Vegas bin of stuff because I don't remember what all is in here. I know like here I can see I've got something that has a plane. I know I've got other, you know, suitcase travel related stuff. I'm not sure any of these are going to be the right color, but I like them. So I pulled them out and then I have my Vegas specific cards, which again, I'm not sure any of these are going to work here. I was looking for more general travel themed things, but you never know. And then I also have a bunch of other cards. A lot of these are holiday themed because we were here at the end of November and early December and they had everything decorated for the holidays already. And I thought maybe there's something in here I could cut down and use that might work. I don't know. Honestly, I put this together a while ago and I don't remember exactly what's all in here. And I always have the option where if I don't find anything in here that I like or that I feel works well, I can go to my general travel stuff and use that as well. Well, I did go through these. I dumped everything out and looked. They really are not the right color. This might work. This is more navy. It might work, but I don't want to say exploring here. We're not even there yet. So there isn't really anything there I can use. But when I was looking at these... I want to use that plane, I think, because I do have a lot of brown tones. I was wearing a brown jacket, a tan sweater. Obviously, the inside of the train tunnel here is very brown and tan. So I think I can get away with it. If I can get these out of here. Dump them all out. I kind of like this one that says departure and arrival as well, too. What's in the back here? Oh, okay. Yep. I forgot I put these in there. We did take the bus. We stayed at the Paris. So the Eiffel Tower is appropriate. We kind of saw mountains. I see why I threw these in here. I just didn't remember that they were there. <laughs> so we'll leave those for now because I will use them later. But for here, let's see. Obviously this would work, but I want to save that for later. I don't need that for the plane. I think I'm going to use this somewhere. It probably will depend on the card that I pick out. And maybe this one, because I could check departure, but my next photo is us in the airport, so arrival. I'm going to leave it out just in case I find cards where it would look good. I'm just not sure. So really, I feel like, okay, I can't pick out any more embellishments until I pick out my cards, so I'll do that next. I went through these cards that specifically say Vegas just to see if there was anything in there. I thought maybe this one, but I felt like the blue was too light. I didn't like it. But in there, I had this one that all it says is let's have fun in Las Vegas. Let's do this. But it's the right color and it leaves me room for journaling, which I wanted. So I think I'm going to use this one for sure. It'll go here, here, not sure where yet. So really, I just need to find a pocket card here and I would like something that doesn't have journaling on it. That's just a background card that I can decorate that works with the theme. I think that's all I need since I already have journaling here. All right, I went into my regular travel stuff 
and I wanted to find a card, like I said, that was mostly just background, don't really need any journaling, but I also wanted something with more color. I feel like there is a lot of blue and brown happening here, and I have enough of that represented, so I wanted to bring in some other colors. I noticed some red back here. There's orange here. Otherwise, it's kind of gray, so I felt like red or orange probably is what I was looking for. And I have it narrowed down to these two cards. This has blue in it, but it also has the red, which I like. Also kind of a little bit of aqua or turquoise, which isn't bad as an offset. And then I have this one, which is certainly way brighter. It's got blue, so it matches in there. Not really any red, but it's got the orange. So I'm trying to figure out which of these look better with what I have. All right. I've decided to go with this one just because I think the colors pop more. And we flew Sun Country, if I remember right. <laughs> I'll have to look at my boarding pass here. Hold on. Didn't we? I fly a lot. I kind of forgot because I was on Delta recently. Okay, it was Sun Country. And their colors are blue and orange. So, hey, that works pretty well, I think. So, if I were to keep it as is and do the flip, this is what I would have, which is great. How I work these in may be a little tricky because there isn't a lot of space to work with here unless I were to put something at the bottom. I wouldn't do this at the bottom. That doesn't look right. It needs to be at the top of something. But I could do it here if I wanted. But I have given myself a challenge on how I'm going to incorporate these. But maybe I could do them back here. Like I could certainly use this here as well and just put Arrival because at that point, hey, there's Vegas. We're there maybe use this up here because we're still on the plane. It gives me some options. So I thought maybe they would all be visible right away in the layout, but maybe not. Maybe one of them is going to have to be inside the flip. Now that I have it figured out which cards I'm using, and I know I want to incorporate these, I need to go in and look at all of my other embellishment type stuff here. So I have a bunch of stuff picked out. This, I don't know that any of these are going to work. They're very bright color tropical. I've got New York and Paris because we saw both of those hotels when we were there, obviously. But these are all very bright colors. I have lots of options to work with. And some are plain, some have sayings. Again, I don't remember all of what's in here because I did this a while ago. I included a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to see what can I sort of layer together to bring it all to feel like a cohesive layout. All right, as I've started going through all of my fun stuff here, I figured out a few things. So as you can see, I've laid out my two pieces of wood veneer that I have. I think I'm going to use the departure and arrival here because it shows me departing from Minneapolis here. And then this one makes sense. There's a lot of dead space here. You can see my friend and I are on the plane. I think it works there. And then this will go obviously in the middle here of the flip. I think I'm going to take this. I forgot that this was an orangey color and it works pretty well with the other things that you're seeing here, but I hate seeing the QR code. I don't know. I don't want people to be able to scan it. It annoys me that I see it. I just don't find it visually pleasing. So I think what I'm going to do is take this, cover that up like so, maybe even put it flush to the bottom, not sure, but just so that it covers that up, but also adds some nice color. I attached my little piece of ephemera there. Now I'm going to do the wood veneer. This is the glue that I use for pretty much all of my wood veneer when I'm attaching it, unless it would be a weird surface. I'm using this just to attach to a journal card or a photo. All right, I have those attached. This one, I got a little too much glue on there, so you can kind of see it peeking out. It dries clear, so it'll be fine. It won't even be noticeable. But then I can take a black pen and mark off departure there. But here I noticed these two little holes. Let me ask you, does it look weird to leave it that way? I do have fairly small brads that perhaps I could put in there. I don't know that they're quite that small, but maybe. I do have some baker's twine, but I think it's yellow, and yellow doesn't really go with what I have here. I do have these, I noticed, like I could cut off just from these manila tags here, I could cut off that string. That's very neutral. Maybe I could put that in there, but I wasn't really thinking that I would have like a bow or anything on this page. So I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Should I leave it or do something with it? 
All right, I've been trying to figure out what to do with those holes there. I did pull the Baker's twine I have. It is yellow and white, which does not go at all, so I'm not using that. I do have the option of using the twine from the tags. It's there if I want it. But then I remembered I had these tiny little rhinestones here, and I pulled out some. Really, the only option that will go is clear because I don't have an orange. The red is way too dark. Pink isn't in there. The turquoise is too much. Purple, obviously not. I really have no option then other than the clear. And so I put two on here. I'm not totally sold. Don't know how I feel about it. I'm thinking maybe do I take another one and maybe put it on the geotag so it looks more uniform? Like, oh, I've I've got stuff that matches because I've used it in more than one place. <sighs> I'm just not sure. Part of me says, hey, Vegas, it's blingy. Why not? You know? But I'm just not 100% sold on it. So I'm going to go off camera, think about it for a little bit before I make my decision. I've decided I am going to go with the bling, the little rhinestones here. On this one, not as big of a deal because it's solid, it'll stick. But here, because there are holes underneath, it presents a challenge on how to adhere them. I have glue dots. These are the mini size. I thought I had the micro size, which are like half of this, which would be better. But if I do, I can't find them. Maybe I used them all and never replaced them. So I think what I'll do is I'll take one of these, but I'll just use my gunky scissors here to cut them in half. And I'll use a half on each of these. And hopefully that will work. The rhinestones are all attached now. It was a little bit of a challenge because even with cutting these in half, they were a little too big. So I had to kind of tuck the ends under. Hopefully that's not terribly noticeable on here. I don't know that anybody would look that close to be able to see it, but it's there. And then I was trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to do the flip? Because I have options where I can flip up. And then these flip flaps from close to my heart, they have options where you can flip up and down or you can flip side to side, which is pretty cool. I like those. I haven't seen any other company thus far that makes them with the side option. So if you know of any other companies, please type that below so I can go check them out. So as far as I know at this time, it's only close to my heart that offers it. But I'm kind of digging the option of being able to fold out this way. So let's do it as if that's what we're choosing here. So that would be in the front. This would be behind. That would be there. So really what you'd see is this and you'd be able to open going this way so these would be across from each other instead of here i kind of liked the idea of when it flipped up you'd see the orange there in the middle so they weren't across from each other but i like the uniqueness of opening to the side instead so i'm leaning towards this option if this were you what would you do would you go side would you go up i don't know it's personal preference i think but i'm leaning towards this way when I was getting ready to attach the pocket, I decided to pull out my orange travel phrases to see what I had, and I found two that I decided to use. I liked this one like nowhere else. It's very close to this orange, and it's appropriate for Vegas, so I attached that there. And then here I found this little one. It's kind of hard to read, but it says hassle-free, and that's so true. That's why I took the train, because by doing that, getting myself to the airport, I don't have to hassle anybody for a ride. So with all of that said, now I'm going to attach the pocket here as my last thing. Ooh, look at that static that I have to do if that will come off. <laughs> all the things we put up with. All right, so then I just want to align it here as best as possible with where it's going to flip. So these look like the ends are a little bit wider than the Becky Higgins page protector I'm using, so I'll have to cut the remainder off which is fine but otherwise look at that yay and then this one I forgot to show this all I did was I adhered those photos right to the back of the photo on the other side because I'm trying to save bulk I don't want to add anything extra in there if I don't have to so now you can see it all put together though and here's another one done for Vegas thanks for watching